Lisa Wilkinson says she's disappointed that Network 10 edited out some balancing detail in their Brittany Higgins story and says she put her faith in 10's legal department and producers. Wilkinson is giving evidence in the defamation action brought by Bruce Lehrman, who says he was falsely accused of rape by Brittany Higgins in an episode of The Project. Lisa Wilkinson has been cross-examined for a second day in the federal court, and it's clear she's distancing herself from Network 10 and its producers. Wilkinson said she was disappointed that Network 10 edited out of the final interview a fact she considered relevant, that a security guard had checked on Higgins in the early hours of Saturday, March 23, 2019, and Higgins had told them she was fine. Wilkinson said she didn't believe Bruce Lehrman should be identified in the story, but accepted that the details included in the story, like his work history and position in the office, would have identified him as an alleged rapist to his colleagues and family. Wilkinson said, Things were being kept from me because they were being decided by people more senior in the team. She said she put her faith in Network 10's legal department to ensure Lehrman was not identified. A story earlier that day on news.com.au did not include any of the identifying details 10 included, such as the alleged perpetrator's work history. Wilkinson, who is now in a legal dispute with 10 over who'll pay the costs of her independent senior counsel, said, I was trusting the Channel 10 legal department. If you've been following the front's coverage, you'll know that earlier in the trial, Network 10 indicated it wanted to introduce an expert lip reader from the United Kingdom to give evidence about what Lehrman and Higgins were saying to one another at the Dock Hotel before the alleged rape. The judge allowed the lip reader in and told 10 they had to fly him to Australia. Now there's a problem. 10 has told the judge the lip reader requires the assistance of a lip speaker in court. That is, someone to repeat the words spoken by the lawyers and judge in court so he can clearly understand. The judge says this was not drawn to his attention when he ruled to allow the lip reader in, and he doesn't sound impressed. He's going to allow the evidence, but he will use a legal technique called voir dire, which means the judge will listen to the evidence and then decide if it's admissible. In her evidence on Thursday, Lisa Wilkinson said she didn't know what metadata was. This was in the context of Lehrman's lawyers asking why she didn't check the metadata on a photo Brittany Higgins had provided of a bruise on her leg. Higgins claims it was a contemporaneous photo of a bruise caused by the alleged sexual assault. But both producer Angus Llewellyn and now Wilkinson have said they didn't ask her to prove it really was a contemporaneous photo before they aired it. In court on Friday, Lehrman's senior counsel Matthew Richardson reminded Wilkinson she didn't know what metadata was and then produced two tweets from 2015 she wrote about metadata. Wilkinson said those tweets were about allegations of the government accessing users' metadata, things like phone logs, emails and search histories on browsers. She said, I didn't know photographs had metadata. Richardson asked if Wilkinson described herself as a serious investigative journalist. This is after she told him on Thursday not to call her a cheap tabloid journalist. Richardson suggested to her it was most improbable that she didn't know what metadata were in 2017. Wilkinson disagreed. We also told you earlier this week about a video aired by Sky News which Lehrman's legal team wanted subpoenaed. It reportedly was a recording made in the bar of Sydney's Park Hyatt Hotel in which Higgins solicitor Leon Zwire spoke to her fiancé David Shiraz and friend Emma Webster about what Higgins should say in cross-examination. People under cross-examination are not allowed to speak to anyone, even their lawyers, about their evidence while it's underway. Of course, there's no suggestion of wrongdoing by anyone, only that people were talking in a bar. There's no evidence Zwire's advice was passed on to Higgins. In court on Friday, Lehrman's senior counsel, Steve Wybrow, said they wouldn't be making any application about the audio. That is, they're dropping it.
The court heard about a text Lisa Wilkinson sent producer Angus Llewellyn on the day of the story's broadcast as Senior Minister Linda Reynolds spoke in Parliament, answering questions from Labor Senator Katie Gallagher. My only priority throughout this matter was the welfare of my then staff member and ensuring that she received the support that she needed. That including ensuring that she was clear about the support available to her and her right to make a formal complaint to the Australian Federal Police, should she choose to do so. At the time of the initial meeting with my staff member, I was not aware of the details or the circumstances of the alleged incident in my office. Had I known, I would have conducted the meeting elsewhere. And given the sense Wilkinson, of who in a pre-interview meeting tended to the court, had called Reynolds a nobody and an idiot, said in the message, Reynolds is lying through her teeth. Wilkinson also said Brittany Higgins' account of her treatment by Reynolds, her Chief of Staff Fiona Brown and another minister, Michaelia Cash, was coloured by the trauma she had been going through. Wilkinson said, we excluded things we felt were possibly coloured by her trauma. Come back to the front next week for all the latest. And you can check out Australia's best journalism anytime at theaustralian.com.au.